Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here, and today I wanted to show you how to make a restaurant game on the phone. So yeah, by the end of this video, you'll be able to make a game where customers come up and make orders, the player has to try and complete the orders, and more. So yeah, let's get started. So in Octo Studio, to start making my restaurant, I will tap Create New Project, and I'll tap Choose a Backdrop, and you can decide however you want your restaurant to look. I think I will use this picture that I found, and I'll also include a link to download this project. Okay, so I've got my backdrop. Then you can add some of the items you want the customers to be able to buy. So I think I'll have my restaurant be a cafe. So, okay, I'm gonna add a cup of coffee. Let me make that a little smaller. And I'll add a few more things as well. Now that we've got our items to purchase, let's add a sprite to the, the customer. So I'll tap add a sprite, and you can add whatever character you want. I'm going to draw a character for mine, so I'll tap paint. And we're back with another installment of what animal am I drawing? I do not even know, but I do think it's gonna be a pretty good customer for the game. Okay, so we've got our setup. Now for step one, let's make it so that the customers can appear in the shop and walk up to the counter. So I'm gonna go to this customer sprite and I can make it walk up with this block, move 50, and that looks pretty nice. Maybe before it moves, I'll have it start out over here on the left side of the screen. So I'll have it start over there and move. That looks pretty good. How about we then have it wait at the counter for a bit and then walk back. So I will have it wait, maybe I'll wait two seconds and walk back. So I'll drag out another move block and have it go the other way. So let's try that out. Oh, you know what? I need to put a play button on top, forgot about that. Okay, let's try it again. So it walks up and then walk back. It kind of looks like it's walking backwards and you could keep it like that if you want to. But if you want it to sort of face the way it's walking, you could drag out this block set direction and we can have it turn this way when it's walking back. And I'll also make it turn this way when we want it to walk forward. So now let's try that. Waits, and then goes back. I think that's pretty cute. Also, we can have the customer hide once it's walked away. I'll also make it show up here right before it moves, walks up, walks back, and then hides. That looks pretty nice. So we've got one customer. Now for step two, let's make a series of customers keep going up to the counter. So to do that, I'll just drag out a repeat block and I can decide however many customers I want to be in my game. You could have it be however many you want. I'll have it repeat maybe 10 customers just to start. Tap play, customer walks up. Okay, and the next customer shows up immediately after the first one disappears. So how about I'll put a random, random wait in between. Okay, so the customer waits. Actually, I'm going to make the customer hide at the very beginning of the game so that the first customer isn't just like standing there waiting to go up. Also, you could change up the appearance of the customer every time they show up. So maybe I'll add a change color block and I can make it change color by random. So let's just try that. So we've got one customer and another. There we go. So we've got customers that go up to the counter. Now let's make each customer be able to create an order. So in this code for the customer sprite, I'm going to make my own block and I'm going to call it create order. And I'm just gonna organize the blocks for that right here. So I want the customer to create their order right after they walk up to the counter and before they wait. So I will drag that block there. So now let's start working on what this block create order should do. And the way I'm gonna make a customer create a random order in this game is I'm gonna create four variables for the four items in my shop. So coffee, tea, cupcake, and flan. And when a customer goes up, I'll have it randomize those variables to either zero or one. So if coffee ends up randomized to zero, that will mean the customer doesn't want coffee. If it's randomized to one, that will mean that they do. And of course you could have whatever variables you want in your game. So to start doing that, I will drag out a new variable and call it coffee. And when they create an order, I will set the variable coffee to pick random from zero to one. So it'll be either zero or one. So let's just try that out. The first customer walks up. Okay, and it randomly set coffee to one. I'll just wait for the next customer. Hey, it set coffee to zero. I will create the other four variables and also randomize them. Customer walks up and all these variables get set. They are kind of in the way of everything. So for step four, how about instead of having these numbers on the screen, we can show icons with the customer's order. So I'll drag out the display block and set the display for all these variables to off. So now let's start showing icons. The way I'm gonna do this is using the text block in Octo Studio because with the text block, you can have a sprite show text. And you could also have that text be an emoji. So if the order has coffee in it, I'll have the coffee cup sprite text a coffee emoji at the top of the screen. So to do that, 
How about after the customer creates their order right here, I will have them send out a message, show order. And now I'll go to the coffee cup and I can make this coffee cup sprite do something when it gets that message. So how about when I receive the message show order, if coffee equals one in the order, then we can have this sprite text a coffee cup emoji maybe up here. Ooh, if I can get it to go in the corner, can I do it? So let's just try that out. Okay, so this customer's order had coffee, so a coffee cup appeared. I'll just give the same code to all these other food sprites and I'll have them check for their variables and text their icon. So let's try that out. I'll tap play. Customer walks up and okay, they ordered cupcake tea and flan. They ordered tea. So there you go. Now you can have all these different combinations. So that's what I wanted to show you here in part one of the series. In part two, I'll show you how to give the customer items and have them react to their order. Um, but for now, I hope you have fun making your restaurant games and I'll see you in the next video.